What's up guys, this past weekend I got to go to PAX East in Boston and I had an incredible time. I mean almost everyone was there. Ubisoft was there with Child of Eden, Call of Wardes, Outland, Beyond Good and Evil. One of my favorite companies, Rockstar, was there with L.A. Noir. I'm looking forward to that game. Uh, Bethesda with Brink, Battlefield 3, that should be an exciting game. Of course, Nintendo was there with their Pokemon Black and White and also a new game coming out, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Homefront was there, Behemoth, there's Star Wars, Red Faction was there, Mortal Kombat, and a lot of people looking forward to that game. Portal 2 was a big one there. One company that I was hoping to be there that wasn't there was Sony. I was actually looking forward to see their new NGP, Hunted, or new gaming portable? New generation portable? Next. Next gaming portable. New. Next. New. Next. Whatever. They should have just called it the PSP3 because it practically looks like one and it makes more sense than NGP. Next. Generation portable. I think. That's a stupid name. But yeah, I, I mean, I have one on pre-order. I was hoping to look forward to get my hands on it and see what it's really like, to, uh, what it feels like. But maybe it'll be at E3? E for all. E3. If you have not been to PAX or any other events, you are wasting your life, okay? You need to get off your ass and go to freaking PAX or something because you, it, it's, it's a sin to not go to these events and you're a gamer. You don't know what you're missing out on. You will have so much fun experiencing like all these video games and the environment and people around you. Okay, if you don't have any money, just go stand on the corner for a couple days, make you a few hundred bucks. I mean, if hookers can do it, you can do it too. And half of those hookers are not even all that good looking. Okay, I've seen them. Okay, they're they're nasty and trashy. I'm sure you could do so much better than they can and make more money. I'm not gonna lie, I was completely selfish the whole event, especially since I'm gonna be doing videos like this. I need to open my heart up to other games and give more feedback to other games for you guys. And I did none of that because I only had one game on my mind the whole event. Like I didn't care about anything else, and that was Gears of War three. Okay, you guys already know my relationship with Gears of War. It is a love-hate relationship right now. It's more hate because I'm completely miserable when it comes to playing Gears of War 2. That is the worst game ever in life. But I love Gears of War 1. So when we got there, sure enough, there's Team Deathmatch. I was in heaven already. But I got to play one round of the game, and I have to say that is the most amazing game ever. Okay, I know it's just beta, but I just can't wait till the final copy is done. That's how good I felt about the game. It was completely awesome. Although I only got to play one round, afterwards I went to a party later on that night and sure enough they had Gears of War 3 there. I was so excited. Like this is my chance to get that one-on-one -on -one intimate personal relationship with my baby daddy bear and get a real feel for the game that a lot of people don't get to feel. So while I was playing, I took notes of the most important weapons that are most likely going to be used during, you know, multiplayer or clan matches or whatever. I didn't really pay attention to the power weapons because I didn't I didn't feel those were very, very much more important. Plus, I didn't know where they were on the maps. I can tell you this right now that there's going to be so many different fighting styles on Gears of War 3 because there's so many, there's like two or three different shotguns you could choose from, several different assault rifles you could choose from, and so on. All right, first weapon I'm going to talk about is the sawed off shotgun. Okay, I know a lot of people are very curious about that weapon. It's one of the most powerful weapons on the game, but it has a huge downside. The sawed off shotgun is so powerful and effective. If you're right up on somebody and you shoot them, they are toast. I mean, they're obliterated, they're explode into a million pieces or they're down it's one or the other there's no getting out of it but the downside to the sawed off shotgun is that it takes two years to reload my suggestion to you is don't miss either hurry up and switch weapons to finish the job or run like crazy and try to get in cover until you reload hopefully you have your friends back you up there but if you don't you are screwed and of course the normal shotgun nasher is there for you um, the Retro Lancer, that weapon, assault rifle, is a beast. I'm telling you right now, everybody's going to be using that. It is so powerful. It's like it's almost like a second shotgun. Of course, it has a downside. It shoots like a Lancer, but you have to play it like a hammer burst because if you don't play it like a hammer burst and keep tapping the trigger, it's your your aim is going to be all over the screen. That's how much it has a lot of kick to it. Uh, let's see, incinerate grenade. That grenade is a lot of fun to play with. As soon as you toss it and hit direct contact with someone, they are automatically dead. 
Uh, of course, everything around it lights up. And if you try to run through the fire, of course, you're going to take damage. The digger. The digger is the grenade shooting weapon, okay? Once you shoot, it goes underground and travels and then pops up and explodes. One thing I hear a lot of people asking is whether you can control where the grenade goes. You cannot control where the grenade goes, okay? This is not Black Ops RCXD where you control where the little remote control car goes. You have to pretty much predict where the enemy is going to be because once you shoot it, it'll go in the same direction and then it'll detect if anybody is around it and then it'll pop up and, you know, explode. Picking up weapons, okay? Um, it's a little bit different. You actually have to press and hold down the X button, I believe it was. But it's only for a few seconds where it'll load around the circle and, you know, it's like a loading thing. You have to load to pick up the weapon. It's kind of stupid, but it's, I mean, it doesn't really affect anything. No, wall bounce. Wall bouncing is pretty much the same. It's a lot easier to do, a lot smoother, a lot natural. So, it's, I mean, it's the same. Two-piecing. Two-piecing is going to be very difficult. Maybe because I didn't do it enough times to get a real feel for it, but it seems like when you melee, you're like out of place, period. Like it's so funny and weird. So two piecing is going to be a little bit more difficult to do. Um, new characters. I didn't really pay attention to new characters because as you guys know, my favorite character and baby daddy is Baird. There was Anya. They didn't really display all the characters, like only four or five from each team, Locust and Human, so I didn't get to see all the characters. And map changes. Played on about three or four different maps. Um, the only map alteration that I saw was the one with the stadium. It's like a football, soccer stadium or something. And above the stadium, there's a huge, huge scoreboard. So if you shoot that, it'll fall down. Whoever's under it will die. That's the only map changes that I really saw, but other than that, I'm looking so forward to Gears of War 3. I'm so excited and I'm hyped, and after playing that, my trip was complete. I didn't care about any other games. Like I said, beta is coming out soon, so you guys will be able to get a feel for it. It'll let you know whether or not you want to pick up Gears of War 3, but I'm telling you right now, you are going to pick up that game. Thank you, Cliffy B. Finally, you finally came through and you did it. I will no longer smite your ass. So yeah, that's pretty much how I felt about Gears of War 3. I hope this information is very useful for you guys. And I look forward to whooping your asses on beta.